Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. Now for today's DIY project, we'll be creating this adorable two-piece children's outfit from the kitchen towels at the Dollar Tree. Now this year's towels are so pretty and I wanted to create a wearable piece that would be perfect for spring and summer. Now this highly requested tutorial project is perfect for the beginning sewer with basic skills. So if you can sew a straight line, you can do this project. Please see the list of supplies and tools in order to make this project in the description box below. Now I'm very excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my fantastic subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right in! Now for this project, we will use two floral print kitchen towels in the print of your choice. And I'll also be using two solid kitchen towels. Now here is the outfit that I created before that sparked the interest for this tutorial. Now I will be using this set to recreate the look today. You will be able to do the same thing by using an existing pair of loose fitting pair of pants up to a size 2T. Now there's no need to use a child's top as a guide as we'll be using a measuring chart that I have provided in the description box below. So in order to replicate the pants, we will make a simple pattern. We want to grab a couple sheets of printer paper and we want to tape them together. Then we want to go ahead and grab the pants that you're using and we want to fold them in half, making sure that the edges line up and the crotch is fully extended. Now since we'll be using a contrasting fabric for the bottom, we'll just tuck that under. Then we're going to go ahead and align that outer edge of the leg with the edge of the paper. Now grab a pencil and we're going to trace around the pant. And then we're going to grab a marker and go over that tracing with a dark line. Now, as a reminder, we're just going to mark the side where your fabric fold will go. Now, for the top of the pant, we'll be using three quarter inch elastic. So we'll need to add an extra length to the pattern to accommodate the waistband casing. Now to do this, I will add one inch to the top of the pant so when it folds over, it will cover the elastic and give us an allowance to stitch it in place. Now for the bottom of the pant, I'm just gonna, we're gonna be adding that contrasting fabric so all I'll need to add here is the seam allowance. So I'll be adding a quarter of an inch here to the length. And then finally, we're just going to add a quarter inch to the seam allowance to the inner seams as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut our pattern out. And now we have a reusable pattern. Now grab your towels that you'll use for your pants and we want to go ahead and remove all of the tags. Then take one of the towels and fold it in half long ways. Now we want to place our pattern along the fold and we want to align it with the side edge of the towel. Now that's, that edge is a finished edge which is great so we'll have no need to fold it under or serge it. And now we just want to take some straight pins and we want to pin it into place. Once pinned in place, just go ahead and cut off that excess fabric. Now 
and then we can go ahead and cut out the pant pieces. And we want to repeat this with the other piece. Now here they are all cut out. Now we're just going to go ahead and set those pieces to the side and we're going to start working on our top with the floral. So go ahead and just remove all of your tags and we want to lay them out. We're going to lay both towels and we want to lay them on top of each other. Now we're going to be cutting these to size. Now here's a little cheat sheet that I made to determine the size of the towel according to the child's age or weight. Now you can pause the video here to jot down the size that you will need. Now how I determined this was by using the size chart that I printed out. I took the chest measurement for a size 2T, subtracted 3 inches to be 18 inches wide, and I'll do this for two towels. Now the towel was already 15 inches long, so no cuts to the length had to be made. So now we're just going to go ahead and take our ruler and we're going to make a mark at 18 inches on the towel. Then we want to align our markings and then cut off the excess. So now that the two pieces are cut, we can place the two towel pieces with the floral print facing each other. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my pins and I want to pin it down the left and the right sides. And here it is all pinned and ready to sew. So now we're going to measure and cut the contrasting pant trim. Now this will be added to the bottom of the pant. So looking at my sample pan, it measures about three and a half inches. So we're going to take this measurement and add an allowance to attach it to the pan and also hem the bottom. So this will end up being four inches. So instead of measuring right on the fabric, I decided to take some scrap paper and make a small template, making a four inch strip. And then I just cut it out after I made my measurements. Now I'm just going to take my piece of the towel and I want to fold it in half and then I'm just going to take that guide template that I made and I want to pin it in place. Then just cut off that excess. Now you want to repeat this with the second piece as well. Now that you have your two trim pieces, we're going to pin them to the bottom of the pan. So you want to lay your trim piece with the outside or a pretty size it's facing each other, making sure the cut edges are lined up. Then we just want to go ahead and pin that into place. Now there will be some overlap on the sides, but we'll trim that off later. So 
So now that everything is pinned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna machine sew the trim to the pant, and we're also gonna sew down the sides of the, the top for the towel with a 1 4 inch seam allowance. And here is the trim fully attached to the pant. Now you can go ahead and you can top stitch these if you like, it gives it a nice even finish. And here is the top with the side sewn. Now for the bottom of the top, we're going to fold down the bottom edge about a quarter of an inch for the hem. And for the top edge of the top, we're going to fold that down three inches all the way around. And then we're just going to go ahead and measure and pin that in place. Then we're going to go ahead and take each piece to the machine and we're going to top stitch that pant trim and we're going to sew the hem on a three inch fold on the top, leaving a one inch opening in the center of the back of the towel for the elastic. And here is that top stitch done on the pant and the hem and the three inch fold with the opening on the top. So set those pants to the side. We're gonna work on the top. So now we'll be using two pieces of a quarter inch elastic around the waist and we're gonna be sewing two channels to feed that elastic through at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and I want to take my ruler and I wanna measure how far down I want my first channel to start. So I determined that I wanted a stitch line three quarters of an inch down from the top. And then the next row of stitching will be a quarter inch down from that line. And this will create the top channel that you can feed your elastic through. Now for the bottom channel, you simply stitch one quarter inch above the line you stitched to secure that three inch fold in place. And this will create a second channel. Remember, leave that one inch opening at the start and stop of each row of stitching. And here's a close up of the stitching. And here's the opening where we're gonna feed it through. So now we're gonna add the elastic and we're gonna use the chest measurement minus three inches. And in my case, the length of the elastic will be 18 inches. So I'm going to cut two pieces of elastic that are 18 inches in length. Now in order to feed the elastic through the channels, you can use a safety pin or you can use this tool called a bodkin, which is easier to feed through and it goes a lot faster. So we wanna insert that elastic into our opening through the top channel and we want to secure that tail to the towel so we don't pull it through. And we wanna feed that elastic through all the way around until we get right back to that opening. Once you're out, you just go ahead and unpin that tail. And then we're gonna end up taking the two ends of elastic and we're just gonna pin them together for now. And then we're gonna do this same thing with the second piece of elastic through the second channel. And once we have that all the way through, we're gonna pin those together as well. Now with those ends pinned together, I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it out to make sure everything looks okay before sewing the elastic together. And if it does look okay, We'll go ahead and pull those elastic ends back out. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew them together and then sew that opening shut in the top. So now that I've sewn them together, I can even out those gathers. And now you see that your top is coming together. So now that the elastic's all inserted, we can go ahead and now we can see those two channels where your elastic was and all the gathers. So 
So now we're going to work on the pant. So we're going to take the pant and I'm going to place them with the right or pretty sides together. We're going to go ahead and line those up. And we're going to stitch along the, the crotch seam on each side. Now you can use a serger or a sewing machine for this. So I've went ahead and I've stitched those crotch seams together. And now I'm just going to flip the fabric and I'm going to align that centered crotch seam. Now you can see that it's looking like pants. So we can go ahead and align that and we can go ahead and we, at this point we can trim off that excess cuff fabric at the very bottom now once that's cut off we can align that seam you can go ahead and pin if needed to make sure all your stitching will be nice and even and then just we're gonna take this to the machine and we are going to stitch this all the way around and here's the seam all stitched So now we're going to fold up the hem on each bottom and we're going to stitch that into place a quarter of an inch. And here that is all done. And for the waistband, we're just going to fold that down one inch. Remember, we're using three quarter inch elastic. So we're going to fold down one inch and we're going to stitch that into place, leaving a one inch opening in the back for the elastic. All right, we're back and now that that is stitched, we're going to go ahead and check out our chart to determine the elastic length that we're gonna need according to the waist size for 2T. So we're gonna take that measurement for the waist size and we're gonna go ahead and subtract three inches and this will be the length that we need to cut our elastic to. In my case, it was 17 inches. And then we're just going to go ahead and take our bodkin and feed that elastic through the waistband. Then we're going to grab those ends. We're going to overlap them about an inch and then we're going to go sew them together. And now that they're sewn together, we can sew that opening shut. And then when you flip your pant right side out, it is completed. Now the last step is to add straps to the top. So I'm going to take that piece of leftover towel from the pant and I'm going to make two straps. So I'm going to go ahead and cut two two inch strips that are 15 inches long. And then I'm just going to fold them in half and I'm going to sew down that raw edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then after they're sewn, I'm going to use my bodkin to turn these right side out. And now we have our straps ready to attach. So go ahead and grab your top and we want to make sure those gathers are nice and even. So we're just going to just pull and stretch in a line. And then I'm going to place those straps approximately an inch and a half to two inches in from each side. Now I'm going to eyeball the placement here, but then I'm just going to go ahead and just pin it in place. Now once pinned in place, we're just going to sew them in place along that first stitch line you made at the top elastic channel. And as you see here, they're nice and secure and sewn into place. So now you can leave these loose to have a halter tie if you like, but I'm going to crisscross these in the back 
and then I'm going to go ahead and just pin them in place. Now at this point, you can try this on the child to get the perfect size since sizes can vary. Or you can always use a decorative adjustable child safe clip in order to make them adjustable. So once our final adjustments are made, we're going to go ahead, flip it inside out, and I'm going to pin them in place and make sure they are attached nice and secure. And then I'm going to take these to the machine. I'm going to sew them or baste them, or we can use our clips to clip them in place again. If you sew, sew along that top stitch line of the elastic channel. And now that they are attached, we're just gonna go ahead and clip all of our strings and do any last minute adjustments we need. Pull, stretch, tug, get it all ready to go. <laughs> and then you just grab your pant and you can coordinate it with your pant. Look at that, it was so easy. How easy was that? And here is the completed outfit being modeled by my beautiful mannequin daughter, Michaela. <laughs> How sweet does this little outfit look on her? Now I just love these beautiful bright colors of these towels and it's making this set perfect for spring or summer. Now I can totally see this being used after a day at the beach and since it's microfiber, it will help to keep your little one dry. Now these towels can make a set up to a size 2T and they also would make a great gift. And this sweet crisscross on the back just adds that final touch to complete this cute ensemble. And it's hard to believe you can make this set for less than $6 since elastic can be purchased for less than a dollar at more stores. What a great deal. Listen, if you think this turned out super cute, please leave this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking the subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.